the year 2022, has been a significant year for the bikey world of Australia. It saw many important events and caused several episodes in various motorcycle clubs across the country. From Comancheros to Rebels and from Mongols to Lone Wolves many were affected. The results of these events caused some clubs to change their structure and leadership while other clubs were seen losing grip. From deaths to killings, and from boot outs to arrests, we saw it all. Here are the top events of 2022 in the bikey world that made news and caused motion on the internet. We have divided these into categories for ease of the viewers. Bikey deaths in 2022. Sydney's gangland war has exploded again with Ghassana Moon, the brother of crime boss Bassam Hamzi, has been shot dead. A Sydney underworld figure has been gunned down in a daylight execution with bullets flying at South Wentworthville this afternoon. A man's been shot dead in Sydney's West, the 35-year-old, the latest victim of an ugly, ongoing gangland feud. Hundreds of rebels bikies have gathered in Horsley Park, Sydney for one of the biggest outlaw motorcycle gang funerals seen in Australia for years. They arrived on their Harley Davidsons wearing club colors to farewell Gino Vela, senior club member and younger brother of exiled former president Alex Vela. Older brother Alex was unable to attend because he has been stuck in Malta for more than seven years since the federal government cancelled his visa. Lone Wolf boss Erkan Keskin, also known as Eric the Wolf, has been found dead in Turkey after fleeing Australia more than two years ago. Eric, 44, died from a suspected heart attack in Turkey and was one of the country's most feared crime figures believed to be behind more than six underworld executions and was still in control of the Lone Wolf MC despite fleeing Australia in 2019. Ricky Chapman, a former Gold Coast Bonditos bikey, who was one of the key figures in the infamous Broad Beach bikey brawl in 2013 has died at the age of 32. Chapman died after suffering a medical episode at work, at Rio Tinto's port in Cape Lambert, north of Perth, about 10 p.m. local time on Wednesday 20th of April 2022. Emergency crews including St. John Ambulance were called but they could do nothing to save the former bikey. Comanchero Sergeant at Arms Tarek Zahed is fighting for life in hospital after being shot in a hail of bullets while at the gym with his younger brother. Good morning. A common chero bikey boss has been shot multiple times and his brother murdered in a gangland shooting in Sydney. The brothers were hit by a hail of bullets in the foyer of an urban gym. Common chero bikey leader Tarek Zahed is fighting for his life while his brother is dead after the pair was gunned down in a Western Sydney gym. There has been a serious escalation in Sydney's gangland war overnight with a Comanchero bikey boss critically injured and his younger brother killed in a brazen attack at a popular gym in the city's west. Ex-lone wolf bikey Yusuf Natsliglu is fighting for life in hospital, shot multiple times in the latest episode of Sydney's gangland war. It is understood Yusuf was shot multiple times in Walker Street at Rhodes around 7 p.m. Monday 27th of June 2022 and has been rushed to Westmead Hospital. His situation is critical and is believed to be fighting for life. A notorious Adelaide bikey has been remembered by family and friends after he died suddenly in hospital. Bradley Daniely, who was a member of the Rebels MC, and made headlines for bashing a child sex offender in prison before posting the vision online, was aged 29 when he died suddenly over the weekend. A senior bikey boss has been killed in a serious motorbike crash in Adelaide's northeastern suburbs. Just after 3 a.m. on Wednesday, police and emergency services were called to Milne Road, Redwood Park after reports that a motorcycle rider and his male passenger had crashed. The rider, 38-year-old Rebels Adelaide President Shane Smith, died at the scene. His passenger, a 45-year-old Clearview man was taken to hospital for treatment. His injuries are serious but not believed to be life-threatening. It is being reported, that high-ranking Alamedine crime clan figure Murat Galassi was with fugitive Alamedine kingpin Masoud Zakaria, at the Turkish gym when he suffered the suspected heart attack. Zakaria was Murat's gym buddy and was at the same gym, and possibly on the trade mill next to him when lethal heart attack stuck Galassi. Major arrests in 2022. 
Comanchero boss Mick Murray is one of the two men arrested by Victoria Police over the 2019 execution-style murder of Tony Muckbell's associate Mithat Rassini. Murray was arrested on Thursday morning after a raid at his Listerfield South home. After the arrest the national president of the Comancheros was interviewed and charged with murder. The Australian Federal Police has today arrested fugitive Comanchero World Commander, Mark Buttle, 37 for allegedly importing more than 160 kilograms of cocaine into Melbourne in May, 2021. AFP Today published vision of Mark Buttle being brought from airport to the police station. After surviving a deadly assassination attempt in May, Tarek Zahed has now been arrested. Breaking news, notorious bikey boss Tariq Zahed is this morning behind bars, charged with murder and kidnapping just months after narrowly escaping an assassination attempt in Sydney's West. Queensland's most notorious and feared bikies has been arrested in Darwin. On Monday night, detectives arrested the national president of Mongols Nick the Knife Forbes at the airport after he landed in Darwin. Forbes had been wanted in the Northern Territory over a string of incidents including the alleged assault of a rival bikie at a Darwin night spot eight years ago and failing to appear in court. Bikies who were booted out this year. The infamous and heavily tattooed sergeant-at-arms of the Hells Angels, Dane Brykovich has been kicked out of his own club. Brykovich, a longtime member of the club, was forced out of the gang last week, following a major dispute with other senior members. It's understood that Dane had been unhappy with some of the Hells Angels attending events and parties with bikies from other clubs. These reportedly included a birthday party at the Rebels Clubhouse, and the Goldfield Sand Drags with the Gypsy Joke. Melbourne-based bikey Toby Mitchell was kicked out of the Mongols following a unanimous vote on Friday night. Mitchell, who had been the gang's president since 2019, is believed to have met with club leaders on Friday and is now a free agent. Two more senior Mongols bikies have now been booted from the club as its Gold Coast-based national president Nick the Knife Forbes returns to power. Melbourne-based Mark Balsillie and kickboxer Sam the Punisher Abdul Rahim were kicked out of the gang on Wednesday after being summoned to a meeting on the Glitter Strip, where they were told to hand in their badges. Both men are understood to be close allies of Toby Mitchell, who was kicked out of the Mongols earlier this month for alleged disloyalty to the gang. Bikies who survived assassination attempts in 2022 Former Mongols bikie Sam the Punisher Abdul Rahim is fighting for life after being shot in daylight ambush at a cousin's funeral in Faulkner. Sam, 32, was shot at least three times. His Mercedes G-Class was peppered with bullets in the daylight attack. It's believed the occupants of a Mazda SUV fired these shots at Sam's Mercedes. Incident happened on Box Forest Road shortly before 12 p.m. Saturday, 25th of June 2022, leaving Sam with injuries to the stomach and upper body. Another shooting involving bikies have taken place in Sydney, after a high-profile Sydney bikie was shot for the second time in less than 18 months. Chris Reimer, 31, a notorious Rebels bikie was shot in his leg at his home in Bounty Crescent, in the suburb of Blight Park. One bullet can kill, but sometimes 20 don't. This is exactly what has happened with Tarek Zahed. Comanchero Sergeant at Arms Tarek Zahed has been left almost completely blind and now could lose his leg and arm after being shot alongside his brother in a brazen gangland hit outside a Sydney gym. Omar died at the scene while his older brother was rushed to hospital fighting for life. He was taken into surgery with 10 bullet wounds to his head and body, and is now in a serious but stable condition. And finally there were new bikey presidents in 2022. The Comanchero Sydney and Canberra chapter commander Alan Meehan has been appointed as the new national president in Melbourne this week following months of confusion within the club. He takes over from former Melbourne-based boss Mick Murray, who recently stepped down after he was charged for murder. He was next in line after Tarek Zahed who survived after being shot multiple times. Nick the Knife Forbes took over as the Mongols national president after sacking Toby and team. Forbes recently returned as national president of the Mongols, following time in jail and from parole for drug offenses, with another Melbourne-based bikey, Philip Maine, who took over as Mongols national sergeant-at-arms.
This was a quick summary of major bikey events that were covered on this channel in 2022. Please comment, share, like and consider subscribing. Thanks, and a very happy new year from the Grid Sparta team. Wu-Tang.